Well, that was something from the great Fort McLeod, Alberta-born Joni Mitchell here on CKUA. And next up, a conversation with a couple of artists involved in a fascinating new theatrical production that explores Joni's complex music and story. It's on now through March 26th at the Roxy Theatre in Edmonton, Joni Mitchell's Songs of a Prairie Girl. It's described as a non-linear musical exploration of her life, music, and art, with five artists portraying different aspects of Joni's artistic soul, the young ingenue, the free spirit, the explorer, the critic, and the sage. Two of those artists join us right now, I'm thrilled to say, and it brings me great pleasure to welcome onto CKUA's Airwaves, Cherise Falmino. Hello, Cherise. Hello. It's Hi. Great, great to have you with us, and alongside you is a good friend of CKUA for a long, long time, Kaylee Thomas. Welcome back to these Airwaves, Kaylee. What a thrill. Thanks so much for having us. Happy to be here. So it's great to get a chance to sit down and talk about this show and this remarkable artist. Maybe uh, could we start off by having you introduce us to your characters? Uh, Cherise, maybe we could start with you. Who are you playing in this production? Yes, I'm playing the young ingenue in this show. Um, and I kind of, my character spans um, Joni's earlier, earlier life and the early side of her career. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kaylee here, I'm playing the free spirit. So it's uh, Joni Mitchell from around 1970. Um, so we're looking at blue and uh, and sort of Woodstock era Joni. Mm. So it's a real... It's, yeah, a treat to be singing some of those songs. I am sure. And I'm, I'm totally fascinated with both of your eras, if you will. Like, obviously, Kaylee, you're kind of in the artistic center of where a lot of people think, you know, her music truly came into its own. And Cherise, I mean, you got all the Alberta and Saskatchewan stuff. So that is pretty cool. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really interested. I mean, just as Joni was, you two are young artists and musicians making your home in the Canadian prairie. I mean, just from your own very personal aspects and standpoints, what is it about uh, this story and this this role that you're playing that kind of intersects or or resonates the most with you, like in your soul. Cherise, Sh- what about you? Yeah, um, I connected to the young ingenue um, in, in a way that she was kind of the outcast uh, and that Joni was always kind of the outcast. And I think we all have a sense of that at some point, being musicians. But I, I grew up in Sherwood Park. So uh, in 2007, I came from the Philippines. So I didn't have a lot of... Uh, friends that were POC or so I was kind of surrounded by by Canadians by a lot of white folks and so I had to find a way to connect with them and I found that through music in a way I kind of connect with Joni in, in that sense that she was able to connect with her world and the people around her through the songs she was writing and the music she was making wow that is so gorgeous it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, Kaylee, what about you? What is it about this role that kind of, you know, that hits home for you? Or maybe is a contrast for you? Mm-hmm. Um, it was pretty wild, actually, reading the script initially. A lot of discoveries about Joni that I didn't know beforehand. Um, I relate in terms of um, this deeper understanding that a lot of her early writing came out of adversity Um, The show reveals that really it was a pregnancy that started Joni's uh, writing and sort of soul searching. And uh, I'm also a a songwriter and similar. It was a personal tragedy that kind of set me on my path of creating art and um, having a bit of an outlet that way. And so Joni talks a lot about the music and the words being the weeping and the release and um, also a way in which she was able to to kind of commune with the world around her. Um, And she talks a lot about how everyone is so shocked by her intimacy, but really she was just drawing out these universal truths and um, was being very real in a time when uh, a lot of the music prior was happy music, dance music. We talk about Chuck Berry and sort of the lightness. And then Joni comes in like a wrecking ball and everyone's (laughs) like, holy Dinah. Um, Yeah, and even her migration 
going from the prairies out to Toronto and then to BC. I've also roamed around this vast country quite a bit. So there's a lot of parallels, actually. Um, it feels like, yeah, I, I see myself in her story. Well, with this in mind, this is a perfect way to get into some music. I think uh, Kaylee and Cherise, I'd love to know. I mean, this is a show that tells an amazing story, but of course, it's jam-packed with great songs and with an all-star house band to boot backing you up. Uh, before we say so long for today, can you let us know what's the what's the one song of Joni's that you can't wait to get on stage and 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 play and portray? Um, so my favorite song isn't actually in the show. Um, but my favorite song in the show right now is is Come In From The Cold. Ah. And that's towards the end. And, and it's um, where everyone gets, all the dronies get to sing and kind of rally around the sage. And yeah, it's just, I think I find the melody really beautiful and um, how, we, how we do it, I think is, is really cool. Yeah, yeah. I uh, really look forward to singing Woodstock each night. It's a great, like it's a challenging sing. <laughs> and I really had to sit at the piano and really dissect what she does in that song. And it's a, it's masterful. It's genius writing. So I really look forward to singing that one. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It is so gorgeous. Well, this has been such a thrill getting a chance to chat with you both about this extremely exciting production. I cannot wait to check it out myself and uh, go out there and uh, steal some hearts and break a leg. Thanks so much to both of you. Thanks so much, Thank Grant. You. That's Cherise Falmino, who plays the young ingenue, and Kaylee Thomas is the free spirit. They are part of the ensemble cast for Theatre Network's presentation of Joni Mitchell's Songs of a Prairie Girl. It runs through March 26th at the Roxy in Edmonton. And now, let's come in from the cold.